Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a geometry puzzle. If you like this video, please comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button for notifications. If you don't like the video, let me know why in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and let's get started. Three semicircles are stacked as shown in a quarter circle with radius one. Find the radius of the smallest semicircle, which is the blue one. Okay, so we're gonna get started with the bottom one. Uh, from a previous video, you'll probably remember if you've seen it, the radius of the largest semicircle here is actually square root of five over five, but let's go ahead and find it real quick. Let's call the radii here ABC. Okay, so I'm gonna call this one A, I'm gonna call this one B, and I'm gonna call this one C. Okay, now we know that this is also A, this height here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a crucial connection here, like this way. Ooh -ooh. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect this. This way. And that way I can use the Pythagorean theorem. So keep a long, to keep a long story short, I'm gonna tell you that this is going to be A as well. And what we have is A squared plus two A quantity squared is equal to one, which means five A squared is equal to one. And from here we get a squared is equal to one fifth and a is equal to one over root five, which can be written as square root of five over five. All right, so that's the radius of the largest semicircle basically here. And how do I know that this is equal to one? Because we have a quarter circle with radius one. Now what I'd like to do is take this value of a and use it in the next uh, equation. Okay, so this is my next connection. I'm going to connect the uh, corner here, this little point, right that way, okay? And then what I'm going to get here is another right triangle and in which I can use the Pythagorean theorem. So obviously, uh, we call this B, so this is also B here. So this is B as well. Uh, so what I have is a right triangle uh, whose height is A plus B and whose base is 2B. To be or not to be, you know, I always make that joke, even though it's very cheap. Okay, anyways, so we have a plus b squared plus 2b quantity squared is equal to 1. Again, we're always getting the radius of the quarter circle here, which is nice. That's why we pick those points as our reference points, because that makes it easier to calculate. Okay, so... What am I gonna get from here? First of all, notice that I do have the value of a, so I can just go ahead and plug it in. So this gives me b plus root five over five squared plus four b squared equals one. And I can just go ahead and arrange this a little bit. Uh, that, that's gonna give me a quadratic. Uh, I'll be getting five b squared plus two root five over five b. And then uh, one over root five squared is one over five. So one, one fifth minus one is negative four fifths. And you can just go ahead and, you know, multiply everything by 5, which is probably going to make it a little easier so that you can get a nice uh, flat quadratic. And then what you can do is solve this quadratic using the formula. Uh, we do need to find the value of B, obviously, to find the value of C. So let's go ahead and find that first. To find B, I'm going to use quadratic formula. But notice that the product of the roots, and how do I know that from Vieta's formulas, right? Uh, I know that the product is negative, which means I have a positive and a negative root. The negative root is not acceptable, so I'm just going to go with the positive. Speaking of uh, Vieta's formulas, by the way, I'm thinking about making a video maybe tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be about Vieta's formulas, but I think those are important. Uh, even though they're basic formulas, uh, they have a lot of good usage. So I'm planning to make a video um, on Vieta's formulas. Okay, anyways, that's another topic. So now uh, we have negative b. By the way, b is the coefficient of b. It's kind of weird, but that's just, just the way it is from quadratic formula. Plus minus, but I'm going to go with the plus one because the negative solution is not acceptable. Square root of b squared, uh, 2 root 5 squared is 4 times 5, which is 20, minus 4ab. Uh, here we have 4ab is negative, so that's going to turn into a positive there, divided by 2a, which is 50. Okay, we can go ahead and simplify this a little bit. Uh, obviously, we have some uh, perfect squares, but let's go ahead and uh, multiply these together first. Uh, that's going to be a 4 times 4, which is 16. 16 times um, 25 is 400, 420. Okay, that's going to give me 420. And how can I simplify the 420? I'm thinking about maybe writing it as 4 times 105. That would probably uh, make sense, but 
I don't know. I'll, let me just write it this way first. Maybe I'm skipping some steps here. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and simplify this as much as we can. Now notice that I, I'd like to get out of two here because everything is divisible by two. So if I divide by four, that's gonna be a four times 105. And 105 is actually three, 35 times three, which doesn't contain any perfect squares. So that's nice. That's the only thing I can take out basically two. So it's gonna be 105 inside the radical and 50, okay. Now divide everything by two and kind of write the 105 first. Uh, B is gonna equal the square root of 105 minus the square root of five divided by 25, okay? So that's gonna be basically my uh, B value here in this equation. And what I'd like to do is use this B value to calculate the C value, okay? So that's this is basically the radius of the green. I don't know if you can distinguish the colors here, they're kind of close, but the medium sized semicircle has a radius B. And as you can see, we found the value of B here, okay? So what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back here and write another equation for C and then use that down below uh, with, along with the value of B and that way I'm gonna find the answer. Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead and use a different color here. So let's make our last crucial connection here to this point from the center of the quarter circle to that point. That's gonna be super important, obviously. So let's go ahead and connect them like this. And then that's gonna give us another right triangle, obviously. And let me go ahead and show you which triangle I'm talking about, this giant one. Maybe not too giant, but kind of, you know, a long one. So this gives us what? Uh, well, this is a C. So I'm getting A plus B plus C and then two C. Okay, we don't have a joke for that. It's just two C. Uh, so let's go ahead and write that down. And of course the hypotenuse is always one because it's the radius of the quarter circle. Hopefully I'm making sense. So this is what I'm talking about. Let me write it down here and then I'll copy down below. Okay, A plus B plus C quantity squared plus 2C quantity squared is equal to 1. Okay, nice. So this is the equation I'm going to be using, but I know the value of A and B here, right? I mean, obviously A is root 5 over 5, right? So we have the value of A and down below, remember, we calculated the value of B. So what I can do is actually I can just go ahead and take this guy, right? And then carry it down here. So let me see where I can put that so I can use it. Okay, here we go. All right, cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use this uh, equation along with the value of A and with the value of B. Here we go, okay. So let's go ahead and put it all together. Actually, I didn't mean to cut that, but anyways. Okay, here we go. So this is the value of B and this is the value of A. So I can just put it all together. All right, let's go ahead and do that. And guess what? This is gonna complicate things, but don't worry, I'll spare you the trouble. Okay, awesome. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Uh, again, our goal is to find the value of C and we know the value of A and B. So let's go ahead and plug those in. And I wanna, I wanna start with C because that's the unknown. C plus A or you can kind of go backwards B. Okay, B is root one of five minus root five over 25. And then plus the value of A is, which is root five over five squared plus two C squared is gonna be four C squared is equal to one. Okay, basically this is the equation that I need to use to find the value of C, but you can go ahead and simplify this a little bit, multiply by five here. So you can just go ahead and, you know, multiply five, multiply five, that way you're gonna get a common denominator. So that's going to give you uh, five root five minus root five is gonna give you four root five, right? That's gonna be a positive four root five there. And this is going to be a 25, just a little simpler, you know, not super simple, but it's a little better. Okay, here we go. This is our quadratic equation and we need to solve it for C. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna spare you the trouble because this is a lot of work, you know, and it's kind of time consuming and I don't want to keep this video too long. So to keep a long story short, the C value that you're looking for is going to be the square root of 477 minus 32 times the square root of 21, all square rooted, minus four, minus the square root of 21, all over 25 root five. Again, he, this uh, guy here, you can rationalize denominator, multiply by five, so on and so forth, no big deal. You can do that, but that's not super 
duper important. Okay, so that's the value of C, the radius of the smallest semicircle that I was looking for. Again, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video, which is going to be the video on Vieta's formulas. I'm going to introduce the formulas and then I'm going to be doing some examples that I kind of prepared. Hopefully you'll enjoy that as well. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.